Party people, Taylor here. Welcome to the past, or the present, or perhaps the future. This vlog and about three others are backlogged about a year and a half, quite some time. Been playing, yes, since then, my game has improved, I think. I guess I'll let you be the judge of that. Anyways, enjoy this vlog from 1.5-ish years ago. Got some more to come. Gonna go to uh, Vegas as well in this next week. And also for about three, four, four nights in, uh, the, in August, in a couple months. Uh, hopefully get a couple of vlogs up on the uh, channel between now and then. Cool, enjoy this one. All right, party people, so here we go, 1.5 years in the making. Later, first-hand looking down at Ace, King, off suit. We are under the gun, starting stack 500. I raise it up to $20, and we get one person to make the call. So we are going heads up. Count it, one, two, heads up to the flop. Flop comes down with $47 in the pot. Nine and dues six with two spades. Okay. I check, and the button thinks for a brief second and goes ahead and fires out after counting some chips, a bet of $25. This hits his range better than mine, but for $25 and overcards, I just go ahead and make the call, and let's go ahead and see a turn card. Turn comes the king of spades. Pretty good. The uh, front door flush does get there, but top pair, top kickers. Good. I go ahead and check, see where I'm at. Don't want to get raised. He checks back. So I think I'm good here, especially when the deuce of clubs comes on the river. I think it's time to start firing, putting some pressure on unless he's trapping with the flush. Uh, so I go ahead and uh, bet just I think a little bit too large. Looking back a year and a half later, about uh, half pot um, with a bet about 50 bucks. And he thinks for a quick second and lets it go. But I uh, go ahead and take down this first hand, so not too bad. Next hand, looking down at ace four, suited of the spade variety in the small blind. Uh, it goes ahead and folds around to the small, or sorry, the button, who goes ahead and raises to $25. Uh, probably an okay spot to raise here in the small blind, but I was probably too scared at this point in my uh, uh, play to, to do something like that, so I'm going to make the call. Uh, another player made the calls for three ways to the flop, which comes king, deuce, seven, two diamonds. I go ahead and check as I brick out on everything. Middle position throws out a bet of something too much for me. I let it go and uh, live to see one more day. Next hand, looking down at 9-8 of hearts. I really like these suited connectors. really like playing these cards, both leading and defending. Uh, and the cutoff here, and it folds all the way to me, so I go to make a standard raise of $15. Small blind and the big blind and the cutoff. I'll go ahead and make the call. So we are going three ways, sorry, four ways to the flop. Flop comes five, deuce, deuce, rainbow. Uh, not the best flop for me or my range, but one heart there for the back door uh, flush draw. If I go runner, runner, it checks all the way around. We see a jack of spades on the turn. Doesn't do much for me, but I think it could hit my range. And after it checks to me, I go ahead and fire, hoping to get a round of folds. Uh, so I bet $30. Blinds get out of the way. Under the gun, tanks for a bit. And it looks like he's going to do something with chips, namely bet or call. I'm hoping he does not raise. If it's if, it, if he raises, I think it's an easy fold for me. Um, but he continues to tank. I'm not exactly sure what he's representing, but he ends up letting it go, so it doesn't really matter. And we take down this pot with this, uh, I guess we could call it bluff on the turn. Next hand, looking down at pocket sevens of the diamond and club variety. After it uh, folds around to me, I'm in the hijack. I make my standard pre-flop raise in these two five games to $15. 
and we get two players to make the call. So we are going three ways to the flop, which is great flop for me, nine king seven. So we hit our bottom set with two hearts on the board. Uh, Olympuson bets $20, which is good news to me. Under the gun gets out of the way. I have a decision to make here. What would bet $20 after betting, after calling 15 early position? Jack Jack and Better were likely three bet, possibly King 10 off. So do I just call here or do I go ahead and make the raise? And I think I opt for the ladder here. I think that's the right decision to make with two hearts on the table. Um, maybe it's giving away my hand. Maybe looking like I'm repping Ace King or some sort of like Jack 10 something like that uh so i go ahead and indeed raise a 3x raise to 60 dollars which i think in hindsight is a little too small uh, i feel better about 85 or 90 perhaps something like 105 makes it seem like i'm bluffing and wanted to maybe force him off so instead of deuce a call but he goes ahead and makes the call really safe turn card with three of diamonds and he go ahead and checks to me I decide to continue and go for a medium sizing of 80. Again, maybe too small here, but I also don't really want to see a river. I'd be happy to take it down, but he doesn't think for too long and makes the call. So it probably confirms he's on a draw or King X or just not believing whatever story I'm trying to tell here. Uh, the river is the Ace of Spade, which is a great card, uh, especially if he has Ace King. Uh, but ends up going check, check really fast. I think it was an easy bet in hindsight. I ended up taking him down. He didn't show. Uh, or I forgot what he had, rather. Um, so pocket seven. My set of sevens does take it. Um, but I think if I bet on that river, I don't think he would have called uh, any sort of bet. So I think check, check is okay. I probably would have bet um, in my play today. But happy to take it down. Next hand, looking down at ace, queen, off suit, is hearts, queen of clubs. We are in the cutoff, folds again to me, and I continue uh, for my standard $15 pre, uh, free flop raise in these games. Uh, we are heads up to the flop, only one caller, same guy across from me. We've been battling a good amount this session. Uh, go ahead and make top pair with a six, queen, ten on the flop with two hearts. Uh, it checks to me. I just go ahead and see bot. Uh, C bet a pot size bet of $30, and he thinks for a quick second and uh, goes ahead and makes the call after counting out uh, some chips and then just tossing them in the pot there. We get a six of spades on the turn. Doesn't change a whole lot. After he checks again, I fire for $40. I think a bet of this size could take it down pretty quickly. Maybe some slim value with a somewhat, I don't know, like a half size, you know, pop bet here. Um, but what honestly does he have? Maybe he's on a heart draw. If he is on a heart draw, I think he would call. Um, but I, I'm, you know, happy to take it down here with a top pair, top kicker. And he does indeed fold, so we did not see river and take down this $92 pot. We move on to our next and last hand of this vlog, Ace, Deuce of Clubs. I have $710 in my stack as of now. Been the hijack, raised at $15, and we get a three bet uh, over there in seat three. Uh, he three bets me, raises me uh, to $65. I like these Ace X suited hands, especially when it's, you know, Ace three, uh, Ace Deuce, Ace four, Ace five, et cetera, to make the wheel. Um, especially when they're suited. So I go ahead and make the call. So we are going heads up to the flop. Uh, flop comes pretty good for me for six king with one club, two diamonds. Uh, so I hit my you know gutter ball to the wheel and or back door flush. He checks to me. I don't know. If, I think this is, I think I would still make this play today. I kind of bet out of flow here, $45, just a little... I don't know, about a third uh, the size of the pot. But putting on something, him on something like ace king or ace queen. Uh, so thinking that he would, you know, call this, especially with a three bet before the flop. So he does think for a second and makes the call. Uh, turn is, gives me more outs with the five of spades. He checks again and I just slow down and check back and boom, bink the river with a three of diamonds. I'm not too concerned about the uh, diamond flush trucks. I think he would have bet um, 
either the flop or the, or the turn. Um, he checks to me, and I'm for sure good here, so I think any bet will take it down, but seeing if I can get any slim value. I bet something, you know, like 40, I think. But he goes ahead and see, uh, he snap folds, uh, so didn't see what he had, but happy to take uh, this $227 pot down. What's up, party people? There it is. There's the peace sign. Uh, Taylor here. Post session. Currently 12.23 in the a.m. Now it is Wednesday, March the 31st, last day of the month. Uh, I usually do this mobily while walking, whilst walking, but decided to do it um, stagnant, not moving, immobily. Just outside of uh, Caesar's Palace, behind me, the Flamingo. Shout out to the Flamingo. I really like the Flamingo. Uh, usually cheap nights. One of the older hotels on the Strip. A lot of cool history there. It's a cool place. I like that. Uh, it was a good table. Played well. Uh, I think. Let me know what you think. I was in... In for 500 and out for, oh man, I want to say 676. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for sticking around. Catch you on the flippity. Peace. One finger piece sign. Huh?